Good afternoon, Facebook land. I'm a little bit late because I've had a technology problem. Anyway, my problem, not yours. to talk about SEO and the research that I have done over the last couple of weeks because I've been teaching SEO. Now, as you can see when you look out my window, isn't it a beautiful Melbourne sunny day? It's still cold, but that's okay. Let's, let's get into the Facebook land and let's get into SEO and keyword planning and why I think it's exciting. Anyway, let me just, I'm going to keep on looking at my notes because I don't want to leave anything out as I, and I do apologize, my dog's digging up his bed again, but he's having fun anyway. So I d I've been doing a little bit of SEO over the last few weeks and I'm going to talk about two things that I've found while doing this research and the impact that it will have on your business, on how you move forward from this point. So let's get into it. A little bit about me. Um, for those that don't know me, I'm Beryl Hedger from BB King Mentoring. I, I'm a certified neuro coach and a business mentor. I'm definitely not your normal coach. I, you will not see me sitting behind a desk well sometimes you do but anyway you won't see me sitting behind a desk you're not going to find me in a suit and tie i will be in the kitchen with my cuppa like so and we will be delving deep into your business together if you are struggling with focus and drive within your business doing things over and over again working 16 hour days um, I've got the systems for you, but you've got to put up with my little bit of quirkiness and because I am, I'm going to mix a bit of art, exercise and fun within the mixture, but we're going to have fun. This is what you get when you get Beryl and BBK. Anyway, let's move on to our topic today. There's two things that we're, I'm going to talk about. Number one today, and I'm going to read this because I wrote this down because I did not want to miss any points. SEO is so boring and so uninspiring, I would prefer not to worry about it. I don't have time anyway. That elusive word, time. It's just the belief, okay? Let's move on. So what I've done here, I've just put here, this is what a lot of my clients say to me when I say, have you done your keyword planning? Have you gone into Google keyword planning and worked out what your your customers are saying to you what they are thinking, what they are feeling and what they type into the URL bar that allows you to become focused. People are not going to type into the URL bar for me. And by the way, that's just the search engine bar just at the top of the website, just, just in case people don't know what I'm talking about. That little bar up there, they're not going to type into for me, oh, what do we think about it? Health coach. Because I'm not a health coach. They're going to type in business coach. So they're going to refer to who I am. Or how can I find the, a business coach near me? How can I find the business coach that is good for me? There is all these expansion of words. So this idea of I don't have time, you could spend five to ten minutes a day, five to ten minutes a week, just making sure you've got to do it a few times just to hone in on your audience. Drop in the chat what you would type into SEO to find your business. Find out who, who you are. And as that, when it drops down, you'll see all these words pop up. And within those words, you're going to find words that people are searching for. If you're an e-commerce business and you sell lawnmowers, or you sell clothes, don't get me wrong, I don't know how I got the analogy to go together, but that's okay. You can see how people are not going to search for one thing or search for the other. They're going to search for, how can I find the lawnmower repairman in my area? Long-tailed keyword. It's very important 
if I didn't know my systems, my my audience, I wouldn't know that people ask questions, where can I find, what can I do, how, etc, etc. Drop in the chat what you think your audience would think. And if you're watching this on replay, just put hashtag replay. They would type in, where would I find dash, dash, dash? Who sells dash, dash, dash? So therefore you fill in the questions. I would love to know because I love research. I am a geek at heart. I am a nerd. I am so sorry, but I love this stuff. I don't know whether they're old fashioned geek and nerd or old fashioned words now, but no offense. I'm old fashioned. So, uh, well, sort of, because I don't like suit and ties. <laughs> but anyway, drop in the chat. Tell me, tell me what you think. Tell me how you would search for your, for your audience. I think SEO is about spying. It's about spying on your audience. It's about spying on your customers. It's just about spying on your competition. But if you think about it, I've written here because this is something I normally type and I don't normally say. So the words don't spit off my, um, spit out of my mouth really clearly. To me, SEO is not boring. It's like an adventure novel, a spy novel. Where are you spying on your customers? Spying on your competition? Creating your own business story that will be your bestseller. That's what SEO is about. SEO is about making your business a bestseller in, in your world of e-commerce or whether you do coaching or whatever you offer, the services you offer. You are learning every day we need to learn. I've put here, don't you want to be a bestseller? A business bestseller. Doesn't that sound pretty cool? Because what you've done is you've done your research. So already I've knocked back, and yes, my voice is turning into a bit of a frog. It's not boring. Do you know the information you could find out about all the people that love you and know you and want to, want to know more about you and who they're going to? It's, it's so good. It's amazing. So I like, personally like the idea of having a best business bestseller and we could call it something sexy I don't know business bestseller spy book or something but as you can tell if I knew my audience before I actually wrote those words down I would know the words I would know the power words I could use that would actually get my audience to come and like me and love me and things like that so number two in my list so I only have two things on my list today is in my SEO research, I asked numerous people. I asked other business associates. I asked people that were close to me. I even asked a 15-year-old yesterday, what do you know what SEO is? And do you know 80% of people said to me, what? Why would we need to know that? I actually asked some actual people that are in the e-commerce world they are online with their businesses and they said i don't know what that is why would i use it well guess what that makes me scared that really really creates passion in my heart of i've got to teach you i have an online seo course that i teach but i teach it more face to face within a group so that we can all learn from each other because Learning is all about each person's perception on how they see things. There's things that I look at in my business and I'm going, but I thought I knew that. But three months ago, I didn't understand. But I've done research and I've thought about what, the, what you need out of me so that I can teach you more. And one of these little areas of black hole that I can see is people don't know how to use keywords and SEO or they're fearful of them because what happens if I muck them up? Well, what happens if I muck them up? You just go back and fix them. It doesn't matter. You're not going to muck them up. You're going to learn. Every time you make a mistake, you learn something. This week, I made a mistake with a Facebook ad I put up. And 
I did make a boo-boo, but it's not about the boo-boo that I made. Yes, I like the word boo-boo, by the way. You'll get used to it when you keep watching me. Um, it's about what I've learned from that boo-boo, what I've learned from that mistake. I have got information that would have taken me weeks and weeks to get another way, but because I kind of mucked up this ad a little bit, I've ended up with a whole lot of information that I can use now. So, but if I didn't make the mistake, then I wouldn't have known. This is the same as SEO. You're not going to make a mistake. You're gonna be working with me and we're gonna to work together with your keywords, your keyword planner and your SEO and you're gonna you're gonna be able to get this. You're gonna know how to talk to the people. One thing I've done, I've another thing I've put here, I've put all these little comments because I think they're really important. So I wanna go, if you don't talk to your customers, then you don't have a business, it's black and white. If you don't know what your customers are saying, then you can't give them the love that they deserve. You need to teach your customers to know, like, and trust you. I know this is cliche, but it's true. Do you know it takes 21, oh, approximately 21 times for people to find you online, to see you online, to understand you online before they may actually purchase from you. That's a lot of times. It has shortened a little bit in COVID because there's more people at home. But as people start to go back to work, like in America, most people are back, but in Australia, we're still getting there. But these sorts of things are things we need to worry about. These are the things that should, do affect our business. So let's learn what our customers are saying. If our, if our customers want the latest, I own dogs. So if my customers want the, I want to find a harness, I need to know how to search. I know the pet stores have optimized their sites, which is just search engine optimization, so that I will be led to their product because that's what I need. And I'm even... I'd go even tighter than that because I actually own rescue huskies. So what I can put on my very old golden retriever, I cannot put on my huskies because they're, they're young, they're boisterous, they're three and four, they're, they're a different dog, but they're also a husky. Golden retrievers don't need the same sort of harness and things like that, that a husky may need. So like I'm saying to you, if I didn't, if they didn't research me as a customer, they wouldn't know that I was searching for something very, very husky related. So think about it. Think about where this spying can head to so that you look, so that you know what your customers are looking for you, what you so that you can offer the services that you want to offer and you're telling a clear story to the people that are coming to your website, that are coming to Facebook where we are now, or coming to Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter. They all work, but they all work together. So now this is, this is me. I love stats. So I'm going to quote some stats for you. But these are pretty significant stats. So, so what I've put here is, is that I love understanding the thoughts and emotions around a customer's beliefs, around their wants. Stats are more spying on your customer's emotions. Isn't that pretty cool? So it's not a bad thing. It's fun. And in the long run, you are telling, you, telling your customer or client why they should come to your store, work with you, love you and become a returning customer or client. Guess what? Do you know a returning customer, this is the stats part, is nine times a better asset to your business than a new customer? Because they are your super fans, they love you. So therefore, you have given them what they want. So they are nine times more valuable than a new customer. So you wanna make your new customers into returning customers. So how you're going to do this is with your 
keywords and your SEO research so that you can put everything out, put your products out, put your product descriptions, put your stories out to your customer's heart. Your ideal customer wants to love you, but you have to think about meeting your first boyfriend. Maybe your first boyfriend was the love of your life. Maybe he was not. But if you have met your first boyfriend and you go, let's get married on the first date, do you, how good do you, how do you think that would go over? <laughs> the new boyfriend go, she's wacko. <laughs> and they would say, okay, thank you very much. Yeah, this is really sweet. And they would leave the restaurant and you would never hear from them again. So we want to learn how to love how to talk to our customers, our clients, and we want to share a piece of us because they want us to be seen as human. So it's just a little bit of the inside of the mentality of the business customer. Think about that last course you purchased. It wasn't about the course. It's about what they said they were going to take you to. They were starting at point A, but they were going to give you the answers. This is what keyword research and SEO can do for your business. If I do courses online, that is part of who I am. And I'm not going to tell them. I'm going to say at the moment you're here, but I know this, this course will get you to not will get you from A B Z A B C to X Y Z. I know that, or Z, as my Americans would say. I know they will. There is a sequence of processes, and that's what you want to know. You want to know those things. How to get your customer? How to get your client? How to get that service in front of the right people that you want to serve? So. It's just a little bit of you need to understand your customer to be able to understand their emotions. When your customer buys something, they buy it based on emotions and justify it later. This is normal. So it's just a little bit about who we are. So I've put here an example. I understand people, especially if you are giving them what they need and want, you make them feel good about themselves. And just think, when I put that beautiful dress on or that lovely hat or I buy that wallet, I want an emotion. I want a feeling about what it is going to give to me. This wallet means a lot to me because my husband purchased it for me. So it is co it has created a wallet of love because this is an emotion. He purchased it based on an emotion because he knew I would love it. But in the long run, I love it because he gave it to me. And it's very practical and it has zips and there's places and a couple of places I can put coins and things like that. So I Jared purchased this wallet for me based on his emotions for me. So you could see how we could do. This wallet came from Canada. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's so, and by the way, he never told me whether he brought it at Sydney Airport as he was flying out or flying back in, but I'm assuming he purchased it in Canada. But anyway, that's that doesn't matter. That doesn't reduce the emotions. That tells me more about the fact that he was thinking of me. He loved me. He showed me his emotions. And his emotions was to buy something special for me. What I've also put here is what are people saying to me? So many businesses are saying, why is this important? They will find me anyway. Well, guess what? They may not. And if you're not a business that can be found, if you're invisible to people, you're online, you sell that amazing course, you sell that amazing exercise program, you, you sell plastic bottles, you need to be found, you need to know your audience, you need to give to your people. So I've put here 
a little saying that I say all the time. I know people think Google's search engine is really, really clever, but come on guys, you need to give Mr. Google some help. He's not that clever, I'm sorry to tell you. This is where keywords and putting those keywords into your SEO, help Mr. Google, Mr. Google, like my husband used to say, Mr. Google knows all. If someone was looking for your address, would you say near Hassett Crescent, which is a street that's very close to me, somewhere near a suburb in Essendon, which is 7K from me, or would you tell them your exact address? That's what Google planning is about. That's what uh, keyword planning is about. It's about telling the, the customer, telling your client, telling that person that wants to buy your service that I am here, this is what I offer, come and visit my website, come and visit my Facebook page. I love you, we can work together. And this is what my Facebook lives, I'm not, I'm not silly, I know my Facebook lives are to attract people to me so I can work with them. So I try to optimize my website so that it all ends up really, really good. And once you blend everything together, then we end up with a way for you to find me, for you to work with me. So um, you need, okay, the, sorry. You need to feed these search engines for your information. They are hungry to learn and want to send customers to you. They are hungry for information. That's what that's about. So um, this is Beryl from BBK Mentoring. I'm going to sign off. There are two things you need to know about. One, how to use SEO and how to put it through your website or two, why you should need it. Anyway, this is Beryl signing off. If you would like to work with me, please DM me. Um, I promise that you will not find me in a suit and tie behind a desk and we will have so much fun. And when things get a little bit over the top, that's when we celebrate, that's when we have a party, that's when we have time out. Anyway, this is Beryl from BBK Mentoring saying love to you all, stay home, stay safe and hopefully you've got a nice sunny day like like we have in Melbourne today even though it's only about 14 degrees but that's okay Celsius for my American friends anyway talk soon bye